Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Bill, I am a prepper, and I live in the Philippines. It's gonna be a short video today. I'm going to show a product yet again. I know, uh, products, 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 but I've been ordering tons of stuff. But uh, the product I'm gonna show you is something I hope I never have to use. So, I can start off with that at least. So, I was, you know, always looking around for sales. Yesterday was 3-3, which out in Asia means it's, you know, everything's on a really great sales. And I was able to pick up um, a digital uh, radiation detector, okay? This, this does, it does uh, gamma and beta, not alpha, but uh, we're not worried about too much of that. And it is a fast C charging uh, device. So again, like I said, this isn't something, you know, I wanted to have, but this is an under $50 device. And before I bought it, I did go out and look at multiple YouTube reviews of the product. And it gets a 4.75 um, rating. I guess it depends on who sent in the product or whatever. But uh, I just bought this myself um, for an under $50 device, and the links will be uh, below. You know, I got some comfort here. Now, uh, disclaimer, I did open it and peek around a little bit because, you know, I was excited. But uh, I'm going to pretend to open it again in front of you guys so you can be as excited as I am. Let me move this camera around one second. Let's see if I get it to a spot where it makes sense for you guys. All right. So first of all, um, I noticed these are on Amazon as well. But I did get mine from Lazada because I'm out here in Asia. And it's actually cheaper on Lazada. Some of the reviewers online said AliExpress and other places have them as well. So um, it actually shipped extremely quick. So I'm assuming they had stock in Manila or something. They got it out to me. Now, I'm not going to say a whole lot about the manual. It's mostly Chinese. But if you run all the way to the back, it's going to give you your settings, right? So this is how you set the time, um, your measurements. You're going to set your alarm settings, your system clocks, and things of that nature. And then it gives you a little bit of history about radioactivity, exposure, what RAD means, um, et cetera. All this stuff you can look up in different sources other than what the marketing folks out in China put in here. But that aside, it is packaged in a, a pretty good foam uh, box here. You know, so I'm, it's not just tossing a piece of junk. It does have the uh, USB-C uh, white color charger. It did come in a nice little plastic protective bag, which I liked. Now it had a clear film on here. I had pulled it off already, so it had a clear cover. So the first thing I want to say is the form factor size is actually kind of nice. Um, it's not huge, it's not big, but it has a really good rubberized grip. I mean, it reminds me a lot of uh, fluke meters and things that I've I've had before. Um, here's the USB port. So the USB port's wide open, so uh, this is not going to be waterproof. I can see that already. But uh, it has a good grip. Now this company makes a lot of meters, metal detectors, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, so this is their Geiger counter equivalent, I guess, because it does use a Geiger tube inside. Now I went ahead and already set the date on here, but it does have a lot of information on the screen and I'm not sure how well it's gonna show here because of the, the reflection. But uh, yeah, it does uh, alarm status, the current date. It does a cumulative um, reading so you can set it somewhere and you can see the history. I haven't figured out how to do it yet, but if you go through the menus, you can see a, a cumulative bar graph, right? So it will show you, um, you know, if it's really nasty at night and then okay in the morning or whatever. Now I can just set this on my, granite countertop here and now one of the things people said about this is that it's slow um, to read low level radiations right so let's see if we can get down here this one. but uh, yeah I'm not really concerned about trying to figure out how much uh, radiation this granite is putting off right it, 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 and I'm sure you guys don't care either <clears throat> but it will measure it now, the thing that they're saying, the, the reason the measurement is weird is because uh, the sensors are on the back and uh, they're just not big enough. Now, you see it's going up slowly, but I'm kind of forcing, I'm holding it down on the granite, right? So, you know, you get a little bit of change. 
But apparently the sensors are here, in here somewhere. I mean, they must be so small I can't even see them. So if they're, if they're really there, or maybe there are two little sensors here in the bottom. When they said, but let me try that. If I put it this way, do I get any different reading? It's moving around. So if I stick it straight down like that, yeah, it doesn't care. It likes it better when I stick it flat. Anyways, I didn't get this to, uh, you know, check my granite, right? I got this device because if there's a nuclear war in Europe or anywhere else right now, and we're honestly at a really high chance of that having a good probability, the uh, usefulness of this device is I can stick it down by the end of a taped off door because I will have everything taped off and I will be able to open up a little crack in the plastic and see what the outside ambient uh, environment's like. And, you know, regardless of, you know, what you might get on the ham radio or the government emergency broadcasts or anything of that nature, um, I think I'm, I feel comfortable having a meter where I can just kind of check myself. I guess in, in that situation, we're all in a whole new world anyways. We're all learning new things, and it's going to be uh, fun times for all, right? But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you. I picked it up it's under 50 bucks. Um, hope to never have to use it. I'm just going to put it in my box of uh, preps uh, and, and just leave it there and just put it at the bottom of the box in like hopes that, yes, that'll keep it ever from having to be used. And that's it. That's it. Just a quick update. Now, I got a lot of stuff coming, and I'll give you a sneak peek if you're still watching. I'm about ready to do uh, a couple videos on everyday carry bags, and that's all I'm going to show you. That's just a really tiny sneak peek. <clears throat> but a lot of them come in. I'm still waiting for some more tools and stuff. Um, when they come in, I'll, I'll figure out which bags I like out of the set I have and why, and then how I kit them out. And I'm making uh, uh, more food. You don't get as much freeze dry videos, again, because I'm stacking a lot of the stuff I already did. I just took some mangoes out, um, and I just put in some bitter gourds, which you'll probably see this video, uh, that video in a day or two. And uh, I, I'm just prepping and stacking and prepping and stacking. So. Uh, I'm buying products too, right? That's why you get a lot of product dumps. But uh, I'm just a simple guy doing a simple thing. Again, this review was not technical. I didn't open it up. I saw guys on YouTube opening it up and telling you what kind of processor and that it's a Geiger tube and all that. And I'm like, great, I don't have to do it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> you know, I just want a device that I can use that's you know, not going to cost me a lot of money. If you're still watching, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed and this didn't do it for you, kind of go check out some of my other stuff. Maybe something there to trick to your uh, fancy. And then yeah, you'll subscribe to my channel. All right, until next time, thanks again. You guys have a nice day.